In this tutorial, I'll show you how can we do that logo, the the Windows Microsoft logo. So I've downloaded an image from the web somewhere out. Here it is. So we want to really use a white as an image. So I just crop that part of the image. Here we are. Right speed to just center that part of the image. Right click and just lock the object. Using our pen tool, we just draw a curve over here, like that. There we are. Press baseball to shift to pick up tool. Control D to duplicate that curve. Place it down over here. With our pen free hand tool, join those curves. There they are. Using our smart fill tool, just click in to have that shape. So we may simply just correct those curves a little bit over here. Yeah, that it is. Yeah, there it is. Just move it up one. There we are. That one also just lower it a bit. There we are. Take it out. Delete the rest of the image. This line, reposition it there. there. <coughs> Control D to duplicate the same object. Press Shift, click, and drag it into. There we are. Just move it and try to send it more visually using the same tool, our free hand tool. Join those corners. Just verify that you are clicking on the knob. That's important, huh? Here we go. <coughs> Once more time. Uh, small fill tool. Choose on the different curve. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Bring it out. One, two, three, four. Five, beautifully set. <coughs> Join them. Here they are. Uh, now I'll show you how can we feel that color the same as it is over there. So I just delete that part. All right, to have the color. <coughs> Using our fountain fill, see like a layer, fountain fill, here we are, linear radius, uh, somewhere, 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 radius arranged on that, 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 that it, right? So select that node over here, the small box, press order, take our eyedropper tool and select the darker part, and there we are. Here it is, okay. Select this one also. Eyes drop a tool, select the middle color. Here it is, okay. Not really. Sorry for that part. Select the last part also. Take our eyes drop a tool and the yellow part. Okay, here we go. Take one more over here in the one more time. Pause <coughs> it. <coughs> I'm sorry. Pause it. I'll drop a tool somewhere around here. Yeah, we are. So just take that and drag it here. The radius. Press OK. Here we are. Select the side layer and press Ctrl R to repeat this step. Ctrl R, Ctrl R, Ctrl R. Remove the outline. Yeah, that's done. One server. Control J to group it. Reposition it over there. Just be careful in the position. All right. Control D to duplicate it. One more time. Bring that one down. Control Shift click to select both layers. Mirror it horizontally. 
one then duplicate it first control D uh, rewrite it horizontally and vertically place it on the last time over there all right so one that done select all layer and bring it down yeah this one we we'll just select it select all the one fountain fill can be done very quickly so I've already worked on those presets and I've saved those presets so just not to waste time here we are all done very beautifully over here shift fountain fill green one that's yellow the blue green green one and now we have the orange one so now what's remaining to do is this particular circle so taking our ellipse tool simply uh, you know, shift shift that shift click and drag to make a perfect circle so here we are so that's our eyes drop to different palette over here just split some color shift click to spot some colors here we are I see it over there. That one is the darker part. Beautiful. Control D duplicate, shift click drag, just lower the circle. Position and stress, remove the outline, click the inner circle. Using our mesh fill, put it to summon, increase the grid, just like I'm doing. Now on the blue part, now on the this part, there we are. Now, now to just fade that so it's not really looking like it is in the picture so just to fade it more just increase the number of grid uh, that will simply fade it more and make it uh, giving it a similar look so here it is here we are now back till here control D duplicate that take our grid tool over here and remove that effect space ball to have our pickup tool and black entries put it to white here we are taking our pen tool draw a shape like I am doing sharp tool to just correct that the way it is move this one a bit Here we are. Taking our small fill, just select the color white over here. Click. Take this knot and position in the center. Oops, 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 oops. Bring this one a bit down. Take our small fill. Small fill, select the white color. Take this one out over here. Remove the outline. Uh, take our transparency tool. Click and run. Here yeah, you get a beautiful effect. Once more time, delete that one, take this one, apply white, position in the center of the layer, increase it to 1.5 TP, and transparency tool, click and run. Once more time, space ball. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our logo is fine and ready. Position in the center. Bring it home, click, shift, drag to increase the size. That's something more beautiful than that. Here we are. So 
like this layer. There it is. Uh, finally, our final logo. So here it is. Very beautiful being done. You can play a lot with the color and just make more in order to have a more realistic look. So thank you for watching. You're welcome. Bye. Take care.